Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another exciting Art with Mr. Johnson. Yay! Well, my friends, it is springtime. We just started spring last week, and that got me thinking about butterflies. So today we're going to make a cool butterfly. It's basically a monarch butterfly that I've gone crazy with. You don't have to go as crazy as I did. I'll show you what I did. But here is the butterfly. Woo, flying, woo. It looks tricky, but it's really not. So, what are you gonna need, as always, a work mat to keep your table clean, a piece of paper, some crayons, and a Sharpie if you have it. If you don't have a Sharpie, use a pencil. If you, on this project, if you have colored pencils, it works really, really well. And if you have skinny markers, that works great too. All right, well, grab whatever you have. I'll see you in just a second. All right, my friends, we are back. Hope you're ready to have some fun. We're gonna get started on our butterfly. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the body, which is just like an oval, a long skinny oval that kind of points at the top and points at the bottom. We're gonna put this right in the middle, leave space for the head and the antenna. So almost just right in the middle, curve line down. Bring it around a little, just a little bit. Same thing and then bring it right there. Then right on top, we're gonna to make a circle for the head. Whoops, my head got a little squished. <laughs> if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. I have antenna, I'm gonna to wait to make my antenna later. All right, now our wings are separated into two parts. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but there's two they're almost touching, but they're just a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right here and we're gonna make a, just a big curved line that goes almost up to the corner. So just bring a nice curved line. We wanna have nice big wings. Okay, same thing on the other side. All right, now we're gonna make in the middle of the body, just kind of a curved line, just almost horizontal, right over to the edge. Just kind of curve it. But not quite as long as the top. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make some curved lines right down to the bottom. The same thing over here. Whoops. Whoops. And if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. When I made this one, I was sitting down. I can be a little more careful. When I'm here, I'm standing up. It's a little trickier. But if, you, if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. All right, looking good. Now we're gonna make the bottom sections. And this is gonna be just the same sort of curved line. It's almost the same. And then we're gonna stop, but it's gonna kind of come to right here. So just kind of keep it right along the same part. But then, and let's just stop right now because this bottom part is the trickiest one. This is where I always mess up. So I wanna do the bottom here. So come, not right in the middle, but just a little bit over. And we're just gonna make a curved line that comes to like right here. So bring it over and then come out just a little ways. Same thing down here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the same little curvy lines to get down to here. All right. Looks a little different, that's okay. Yours probably looks different than mine too. Okay, now we're gonna make these inside sections for our wings. Now what we're gonna do, cause we're gonna, we're gonna color the outside of it black using either your Sharpie or crayon or colored pencils. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and we're just gonna kinda come and we're gonna come and stop right here. So come up. Now 
and then we're gonna loop that back around. And then we're just gonna make another one. Leave some space because we're gonna put these little dots at the end over here. Then what I want you to do is make another one right here. Bring it back. And now we're just gonna make some little ones that come off. See how I did that? And then down here, this bottom part, we're gonna make these little ones that come like this. So just make big loops. All right, looks cool. Then we're gonna put circles at the ends of every one of these parts, make them pretty big. All right, it looks good. Then we're gonna put some circles in like these, you see how it kind of loops around, but so inside we're gonna put circles here. All right, looks great. So let's do the same thing over here. So we're gonna curve it over almost to the end. Now on this one, I made the little extra piece. I didn't do it on that side, so I'm gonna do it not quite as far this time. Then I'm gonna make kind of here, let's make a loop. Then I'll make another one right here. I'll just make my loops again. And I'll make some little ones down here. Doesn't have to be exactly the same on both sides. Then we're gonna put our circles. Make your circles kind of big so you can see them. That one's gonna to be too small. All right, then we're gonna put the circles at the end in these little loopy parts. All right, looking good. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So, but we're gonna make our these first loops a little bit smaller. So. And then we're gonna make this next one, let's do the bottom one here first. So we're gonna come down and loop it around. And then we're just gonna make a loop right here. So let's do the same thing over here. Come down. And then you can loop it. Then we're just gonna put some little ones at the ends. Same thing, loop, loop, make them different lengths, that's fine. All right, now this is looking cool. So yeah, now on this one, I didn't put the circles on the inside part, just on the outside. And then we're gonna put our antennas to fill in this empty space. I put a little dot at the end. All right, that's it. Basically, we're done now. And you can stop and color it any way you want. But I'm gonna show you a way that looks pretty cool to color the inside of your butterfly. And for this, we're gonna need yellow the where is it the light orange whoops dropped it sorry the light orange and the dark orange and yellow so what we're going to do is we're going to do well actually what we should do first is take our yellow 
and we're gonna color in these circles. Now on mine, I left the outside ones white when I did the practice, it's a lot more work. So I would say, just go ahead and make every circle yellow. If you have um, markers, colored markers, this would be a good time to use a colored marker. Because when you, we're gonna color back over it later, and if it's marker, if we go over it, you really won't even be able to tell. But crayons, we, we can do the same thing. We just have to be a little more careful when we color it in. So let me color all these circles in yellow. And if you go out of the lines, don't worry about it at all. Just try to keep it pretty close to the circle. It's kind of hard to see and be super careful on these little circles. That's why I wanted to make them as big as I could and still make them fit into the picture. But yeah, if you go over them a little bit, don't worry about it. All right, cool, we got that done. Now what I wanna do is I wanna do kind of close to the body, like a little oval, I wanna make it yellow. So what I'm gonna do, and don't worry about it being perfect because we want it, the colors to blend. So I'm just gonna start right here, and I'm gonna start just coloring yellow. Just a little ways. And if you get a little bit in the body, don't worry about it, because actually that looks better to have a little yellow into the body. So I'm just, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little yellow line right here, because that's gonna look neat when I color it in later. So just put a little yellow line right there. And if you go over a little bit, don't worry about it. I didn't put a, the good yellow line there, and my body's pretty dark. I think I'm gonna put another little yellow line over here too, that'll look neat. So my body on my practice came out pretty dark. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So just a little ways, making it yellow. All the way around. So you can see I've got like a little yellow part. Now I'm gonna take my light orange and I'm gonna go a little bit further. I'm going to go, go into, over the yellow a little bit, and I'm going to come about like this. So I just do this. So I want to go over my yellow a little bit so it blends. And you can go right over those circles. It'll just blend the yellow and the orange. That's fine. When we get to dark, we're going to be a little more careful around there, but for the light yellow, or light orange, sorry, Mr. Johnson, learn your colors. The light orange is not as important. Let me do this. Whew. I was getting tired, sorry. Same thing over here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over this with a little yellow in a minute. Because I wanted to have a little more. Well, I think it looks cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoops, <laughs> I went over a little bit, that's fine. All right, now finally I'm gonna take my dark orange and I'm gonna go all the way out to the edges. I'm gonna blend it. Now, for this part here, I'm gonna go around all of this. Whoops, I guess I was supposed to make that black. Oh, well, I forgot. <laughs> oh, well, if you want, it does look better to make that black. I messed up. I forgot what I was doing. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over it with the Sharpie. Sorry, that was supposed to be black. That's gonna look weird, but that's okay. If, it, if it's a, or a black crayon, let's try a black crayon. Just kind of color over that with the black. That'll be fine. I forgot the outside of the wings was supposed to be black. I was having so much fun coloring. All 
All right. For the whole thing, I did it with the, with the Sharpie. If you have Sharpie, it does work better. Uh, black colored pencil works because it's, it's kind of hard to get really careful with the black crayon. So I'm going to go in right now and I am going to color the whole outside black. And I'm going to be careful around my little circles. I'm going to pause the video for a minute because it's going to be super boring to watch me. I'll do a little bit first so you can sort of see how I'm doing it. Okay, so you get the idea how this is going to work. We're going to do it all the way around. So I'm going to pause the video for a second. I'm going to color it in. You do the same thing and I'll catch up with you when I have the black fit. Okay, I'm back. I went back in and I colored in the outsides of all of the wing. Then I was looking down here and I realized I forgot to put my circles around the outside. So I'm going to make these ones a little bit bigger this time because I have more space on this picture. So put more circles here. Now I'm going to go back in and color all the circles yellow again. And same thing, I'm gonna take my black, I'm gonna have to fix that up a little bit, and go around the outsides. I'm gonna take a black crayon and I'm gonna darken that up a little bit in a minute. But just kind of same thing. Just like we did on the top, we're gonna go back and we're gonna color the whole outside black again, working around our circles. This is why, like I said, uh, Sharpie, thin marker, colored pencil works the best for here because we have to be kind of careful do the best we can. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna color it all in. You do the same thing you colored in and we'll meet back up in a few minutes. Okay, we're back again. So I went this time and I colored all of this in with the black and here, the parts with the Sharpie didn't really go over the, the crayon well that I made before. So I just, oops, wrong color. I took <laughs> a black crayon and I just colored over that more with black crayon. A little bit of orange is fine. It kind of blends and it still looks neat. All right, so <clears throat> let's remember we did yellow, light orange. Then we're gonna do the outside parts of the wing, dark orange. And just kind of go around that outside part carefully. If you get onto the black, it doesn't matter because you won't be able to see it. If you go over your little yellow part a little bit, that's fine too. Kind of blend it in. That's funny, this dark orange looks more red than that dark orange that I used over on that one. Wonder why. I have a whole bunch of crayons in my classroom here. So when I made the practice, I used different crayons than I used when I'm making this one up here. That's weird. All right, there we go. Now I am going to, just for fun, take my light orange again, and I'm gonna kind of get some more in here to blend it even more. All right, so that's basically it. I'm gonna try and go grab my other orange and see if the other side, the other wing looks different. Actually, you know what? 
Look on the video, I think that looks pretty cool. So, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna finish all of this with my dark orange. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I went back in and I colored all around. And what I did was I kind of went a few little lines back into my lighter orange and my yellow, just to really make it blend even better. So we did that. All right, now for the body. Like I said, I did this all black and it came out really dark on my practice. So I wanna go back in and I wanna put a little more yellow. Then when I go back over it with the black, it's not gonna look so dark. So I did some yellow lines. And then I'm gonna see where I put my black crayon. Here it is. And I'm just gonna go back in now and do this. I had to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go lightly over it, over the body, not super dark. And you can see how those little yellow lines come through. So I'm not coloring super dark with my black. I saw my practice that it came out darker than I wanted. If you want to go really dark, or that's fine too. Because remember, who's the boss? You're the boss. This is just my ideas. All right. I'm digging it. I like it. Okay. Now. Once again, if you like it like this, you can stop, leave it like that. I'm gonna show you just for fun how I did this multicolored um, background. And this, my friends, was just a whole lot of scribbling. And I did sort of different colors on different sides. So I'll just show you quickly what I did. So this is a lot more work, but same thing. If you go over in the black, it's not gonna be bad. So. I just took like my light blue, did a little outline up here, and then same thing, because I did like how the yellow really shines through. I took my yellow, I keep putting my crayons in, I can't find them, sorry, and I'm just starting to do a whole bunch of yellow here all the way around. I came a little dark, too much purple on that when I practice one. So I'm just gonna do yellow. Then, like I said, so I was here using the, the light blue. Then you can just try different colors just for fun, see what you think. Um, use a little darker blue. And I'm just gonna mix them in. All those little spots that I missed. And maybe you can go for a little bit of the lighter purple. You can go right over those antenna because it's not going to show. Like I said, you can go over the black of the wings because it's darker than the crayon. That's not, you're not going to be able to see that difference. Uh, once again, I do a little more darker purple. Just have fun with the colors and see if you like it. If, if, if you like it, stick with that color. If you don't, stop using that color. See, I'm just gonna do like a little bit and I'll go back over it with the lighter purple to really mix up the colors.
and this takes it and only makes it look a whole lot more like a finished piece of art, like a, more of a painting than just a little scribbly color, just by blending our colors around. Now I'll grab a towel, Let's see what red looks like. I need a little red down here. And then maybe I'm, I'm liking how this this uh, purple and the reds. I use a lot more blues on that one. It came out a little dark. I like this one looking a little lighter. But if you want to try different colors, same thing. That's why we use the work mat so we can just go right off the edge and not get on the table. And I'm gonna go back over here. Let's get a little more of the lighter. Oh, the red, whoops, that's fine. All right, and there we go. And I can just say, oh, I missed a little bit. Oh, maybe I'll put a little more yellow in there. Whatever you want to do, have fun, play around, experiment, make mistakes. It's all right. We're just having fun, learning new stuff, making fun art. There we go. Here's mine. Here's my practice. Here's what I did today. I like some things a little bit different that I did, some other things. Hope you had fun. I sure did. Take the glasses off. See you next time. Bye.